हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर आर बी कुशवाहा प्रोफेसर एट वी सी सी स्कॉट जम्मू आर एस पुरा वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल एंड इफ़ यू आर न्यू टू माई चैनल सो कैंडली सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एट विट द बेल आइकॉन फॉर फर्दर नोटिफिकेशन सो टूडे वी हैव अ सिक्स मंथ ओल्ड फीमेल सिडजू पपी सो यू कुड सी सो दिस एनिमल इज नॉट ओके राइट नाउ दिस एनिमल प्रजेंटेड थ्री डेज बैक विद द हिस्ट्री ऑफ नॉट टेकिंग एनी फीड एंड देर इज ए प्रोग्रेसिव डिस्टेंसन ऑफ द एबडोमेन एज यू कुड सी हेयर इफ यू सी हेयर सो देर इज ए डिस्टेंसन एंड अपॉन पल्पेशन डेफिनेटली इट अपियर्स दैस देर इज ए एकोमोडेशन ऑफ द फ्लूड इन साइड द पेट्रोलियम कैपिटी so we have uh, taken the radiograph of the abdomen so from the radiograph it was confirmed that this distension is because of the presence of fluid as almost uh, ground glass appearance of the this abdomen was seen over the radiograph and also this animal having difficulty in little bit uh, you can say respiration so on radiograph thoracic radiography we found that uh, there was a collection of you can say fluid in the cranial lungs lobe that is basically uh, air bronchogram so air bronchogram was seen on the this uh, cranial lungs lobe suggestive of the pulmonary edema based on the, this uh, accumulation of the fluid in the lungs and the, this uh, peritoneal cavity so we suspecting for the some diseases so could be because of the either the liver involvement heart involvement kidney involvement or even the hypoproteinemia so this animal uh, when we examine the this mucous membrane so this animal is anemic so we are going to perform the ultrasonography of uh, this particular animal so we have prepared this abdominal area for the ultrasonography so first we examine with the this microconvex transducer and thereafter then we will examine with the this linear transducer so now you can see this one is the this one is the liver lobe and this one is the caudal vena cava here and moreover the blood vessels of the liver this hepatic vein and the portal vein they are distended here this one is the stomach here this one is the stomach more of the stomach and this one is the left kidney here so left kidney the differentiation is not good the picture will be very clear when we examine with the linear transducer See here in the abdominal cavity. Now you could see the fluid, and you could see the spleen is floating in the fluid. Even the fat is also, momentum is also floating here. So now you could see clearly. This one is the spleen. This is the tail of the spleen here. Yes, you could see this is the tail arm, and this is the fluid. And in the fluid, you could see here the hyperechoic momentum. And this is the side of the left kidney. You go down here. So now you could see this is the kidney bladder which is distended. This one is the wall of the kidney bladder. You could see here this is the wall of the kidney bladder. So I am again going in the from the right side again. This is the liver. This is the left lateral lobe of the liver here. Then. Down here you could see the shadow of the right kidney. Okay. This is the shadow of the right kidney. So this is not very clear. This one is the right kidney and this is the caudal lobe of the liver. This one is the linear transducer. So the same structure we are going to scan with the, this linear transducer. This is the 7.5 megahertz. So first we change the this transducer. You will see the rectangular image. Now you could see. So this is the liver lobe, and this one is the gallbladder. This distended one, the gallbladder. This is the hepatic vein here, and you could see this is the vena cava, and here this is the portal vein. Here you could see the fluid present. This is the ascitic fluid here. Ascitic fluid is present between the lobes, and if I go down here below. So this is the caudal loop. Now I am scanning, and you just see just below the caudal loop, you could see here the shadow of the kidney. So if you see carefully, so normally with the linear transducer, the cardiac pulmonary differentiation should be very good. But here in this case, if you see properly, so there is a no cardiac pulmonary differentiation properly. Only we could be able to see the only the shadow of the this kidney. This is the fluid. Peritoneal fluid could see here, and if we see the liver lobe, the ascites is definitely 
definitely it's in this particular case here. Now you could see this is all in this time here. And you will find the presence of fluid in between the this intestine here. Now you can see that this wall of the honey bladder here. This one. The clear this here. This is the wall of the honey bladder here. And cranial to wall, you can see the presence of the free fluid here. So this is nothing, this is the ascetic fluid. And if the same transducer, if I now go, going towards the left side, now you could see here the how much distance. So this you could see that this is the wall of the stomach here. You could see that this multi-layer here. This is the wall, and this one is the mucosa, and in the there is a reverberation of this air and if you we go towards the left side further here also further here now you could see here this is the fluid and this is the kidney and cranial to the kidney you see the fluid and this one is the spleen so this this is the left kidney. So left kidney is relatively better than the right kidney. But also here the parenchyma is not good. There is increased increased echogenicity of the this left kidney. So if you see here, so this one is the momentum fat and this one is the splenic parenchyma and just below the spleen you could see here the this kidney. This is the tail of the spleen. Now just below the spleen, so there is a kidney. So this is the fluid present in the perineal cavity, and you see here the free floating momentum, and just below the hair. Then now you could see this is the and this is the wall of the kidney bladder. Fluid is inside the kidney bladder. Fluid is outside. So you could see here the serosal algebra is the mucosal surface. This is the thin hyperechoic wall. Of the urine bladder. So overall, the the ultrasonographic picture of this animal is the congested uh, this liver, so distended gall bladder, and the kidney shadow is not good here. In the right side. So thank you very much for watching uh, this uh, ultrasonographic image of uh, this particular uh, dog.